Welcome to the Catholic Goatee, the podcast where we congregate to celebrate and yes, conversate on all things collegiate and Catholic. Now, here's your host, Scott Bagshaw. Hello and welcome to the Catholic Goatee, which is currently residing on my face. My name is Scott Bagshaw and I am so glad that you've joined us for episode 00. This is the bonus episode. It will not run in the same format as all the other episodes. I want you to think of it as the hidden track of all holy goodness. And if you think of it that way, you're sure to be, well, greatly disappointed. But on today's show, we are going to be talking about why this podcast, who am I, who is this podcast for, and what to expect in some of the upcoming episodes. So first of all, why this podcast? I started a small ministry at my church in August of 2015 called College Life, and I was looking to minister to more of the collegiate population of our parish. And I was trying to find new ways to keep Christ in front of them and to help them stay Catholic in college. Let me give you a few quick stats that are sure to cheer up your beautiful day today. First of all, first stat comes from CARA, which was a study done by Holy Cross Family Ministries. Here it is, 14% of U.S. Catholic millennials attend Mass weekly. 14%. So an additional 35% attend Mass maybe once a month. When I was looking at this, I was blown away. And then I did some more research, and according to the Fuller Youth Institute, the studies find that 40 to 50 percent of students in youth groups struggle to find their faith after graduation to high school. So after they graduate high school, they struggle to keep their faith going. And then in the book, The Present Future, Six Tough Questions for Our Church, I found out that 90% of active youth in high school church programs drop out of church sometime before they are sophomores in college. That just blew my face off. So at looking at these stats, I knew something had to be done. What can we do? And in our College Life Ministry, we've done online Bible studies, we've done group chats, we have a Facebook group, but nothing was as effective as I wanted. So, of course, what do I do? I asked my wife. And so my wife's like, you got to go to their media. You got to do a podcast. They can listen to you when they want to listen to you, and they can turn you off when they want to turn you off. And I thought, huh, that's a really crappy idea. And so I completely dismissed it. Then we were having dinner with uh, two former teens that are now in college um, and their parentals. And we were talking about this idea of what is the best way to stay in front of college students. And we thought of what medias would work and where should I be investing my time within college life. And they said, a podcast is a great idea, Jill. (laughs) Thanks. So here I am. Which brings us to the question, who am I? Who am I? Who am I? And Sean Valjean! Ah, you gotta love Les Mis. So who am I? I am a cradle Catholic born and raised in the faith. However, it really wasn't until my junior year of high school that I really started recognizing that God had an active place and an active part that he wanted to play in my life. And so it was my through my experience at Life Teen, which is a Catholic youth ministry program uh, that's now in 24 countries all around the world. And that program kept me Catholic in high school and throughout college and has been uh, instrumental in my life. I am married. I got married back in 2001 to my beautiful wife, Jill. Um, I was paid poorly as a youth minister, and she was paid poorly as a music minister. So we thought if we combined our incomes, we could probably break into that lower middle class bracket. And so we did, and we were very excited to do so. 
Plus, all my friends who were youth ministers, they were always having a hard time finding a good music minister. They could never find one, and I had one of the best ones around. So my thought process is, well, if I marry her, then I'll always have a music minister around. So that's what I did. It helped that I was also in love with her. That definitely was a perk. And so 16 years later, Jill and I are still leading uh, Catholic teen retreats together. Oh, isn't that sweet? I think so. We have Trace Kids. Um, that's Espanol for three for my college friends who have only taken Mandarin. I have one son with whom I am well pleased. And he will be going to college in four years. He will probably be a sun devil. I have a daughter who will be going to college in six years, who I hope will go out of state and probably after hearing this, have a complex for the rest of her life. And I have a daughter who will be going to college in eight years, who I hope will be attending one of the best convents our church has to offer. I am a big fan of cloistered nuns. So what credentials do I have for doing this podcast? Well, I am a Sun Devil grad. Go ASU, fork em devils. Uh, and I'm still Catholic. So really, what other credentials do I need? Uh, my wife said, you mingled with devils and you came out an angel. Ding. I said, what was the ding? She goes, oh, that was the shine off your halo. I was like, oh, good. Yeah, see, this is what married couples do. They build each other up. Lovely. Um, I've been in youth ministry, though, since 1996. I've led over 100 retreats for teenagers. Um, I have done retreats at the parish level, multi-parish retreats, diocesan-wide retreats, Catholic high school retreats, core retreats, uh, different volunteer retreats across the board in youth ministry. I've dressed myself since I was a child, um, but I've also addressed a variety of audiences regarding the faith. Uh, including middle schoolers, teens, parents, college students, core members, youth ministers, men's ministries, school administration, clergy, just to name a few. Uh, I am really blessed, though, to work at St. Patrick Catholic Community here in Scottsdale, Arizona, where I have been very supported by my amazing pastor, Father Eric Tejas. And we have, because of that, we have some great youth ministry programs, very dynamic programs of which I am able to coordinate the Life Teen program here. And I've been doing so for the last nine years here at St. Patrick. Before this, I was at St. Maria Goretti, another great parish here in Scottsdale, Arizona. And so I've been working with Life Teen for uh, about 20 years, and with Life Teen, it's given me some great experiences. Even just last year, I was able to travel to Australia with one of the vice presidents of Life Teen to share the message with different bishops and priests and youth ministers and core members, volunteers all up and down the east coast of Australia. It was truly a blessed experience. I am a certified life coach been doing life coaching for 10 years. But bottom line, simply put, I am passionate about the Catholic faith and helping others live for Christ. That is what it's really about. Who is this podcast for? Well, this podcast is aimed at Catholic college students, but anybody's welcome to listen. One thing I know, if you are listening, you are, first of all, someone with really great taste. Number two, you are someone who is seeking truth. Number three, you're someone who loves God or is at least open to learning more about God. And finally, you are someone at the beginning of a new and exciting chapter of your life. Our faith journey is always something new and exciting and God desires to do something new and exciting with you and hopefully with this podcast. So what to expect from this podcast? Each podcast, we're going to be diving into two or three segments out of the seven different segments that we will have on the show. The descriptions of the segments are in the show notes if you want to check those out. Some segments are going to resonate with you more than others. And, but I pray that these will all bring a deeper meaning to your life, some joy into your world. I hope they're going to make you think. I hope they're going to challenge you. And I hope they're going to bring value for your time invested. 
So what value do I hope to give you? First of all, I want you to know that you are someone that is cared about as a person, not just as a demographic, not just as an object, not as a statistic, but as a human being with a soul seeking our awesome and loving God. Two, you're going to get a prayer community. Whether you like it or not, you got one now. So deal. Every Thursday, we have a College Life Rosary, and I invite you to pray the Luminous Mysteries with us on that day. We invite all college students who are um, striving to really make Christ the center of their lives to pray this with us, but also to send in your intentions. On our website, we have a special area at the thecatholicgoatee.com. There's a special area where you can send in prayer requests, and then I take these before the Blessed Sacrament every week, and I will be lifting up your prayer intentions, and it is my absolute privilege and honor to do so. I hope that we will give you some interesting things to think about and discuss with your peers. I want you to be inspired. I want you to laugh. And as it says in my favorite scripture, John 10.10, I want you to live abundantly. Jesus says, I came that you might have life and have it to the full, have it abundantly. And to do this, of course, we must do a few things. We must be intentional. We must surround ourselves with good friends who are going to lift us up. We need to get involved in our Newman Centers and the Catholic Life in College. But the Catholic Goatee is here to help. That is why we're doing this podcast. So know that I will be praying for you. Being Catholic in college is not easy, but it is possible. It is worth it. And there's nothing on earth like knowing that you are striving to follow God's plan for your life and live for something bigger than yourself. Every week, we will end with a challenge. And the challenge this week is to listen to some of the rest of the podcasts if you haven't already. If this is the first one you're listening to, make sure you check them out. Like us on uh, iTunes and review us if you think that this is worthwhile. That way, hopefully, more people can find us organically. Remember, keep your eyes on Christ, be intentional, and live abundantly. Peace and prayers, my friend. God bless you. Thanks for listening to The Catholic Goatee. If you know someone Catholic or someone with a goatee, be sure to share this podcast with them. And remember, keep your eyes on Christ.